Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for going live without a hitch. Okay, so I wanted to show you this beautiful bag on a uh, placard, not placard, but it was in leather, just like the graceful. So the graceful is now the new delightful, which in all honesty and no disrespect to anyone, I am not a fan of the graceful. I just, I just don't think, I don't know. I just don't like it. I personally don't think it's, it's beautiful. Um, but um, I love the delightful. I think it's so sad that they got rid of it. This is obviously in the Azure. Um, so it is a perfect bag for summer. And again, the way you can tell that this is the new model is because it doesn't have the leather tab that the old model had. And I had that one and it was beautiful. I had it in the monogram. But the one thing I didn't love about it, it was that a lot of people would do the cookie shape and they would call this the fortune cookie bag because you can do like this on the top. And I just personally don't like that. What happened after a while with my old model is that this was done so much that it, it started to constantly go that way and it would sag in the back, uh, kind of like, I don't know if I'm showing well, but kind of like this. And I hated that. It would drive me crazy. So I haven't been doing that with this one because I like just the, the round top of the hobo. Um, and so there's some major differences between the new model and the old model, you know, generally speaking. Obviously, again, this bag is discontinued, um, but you can see that this is more of a um, kind of a triangle, whereas the old model, it was rounded. That's one difference. There's a difference here in the old model. This moved. OK, but this one here does not move. It has a. Um, I don't know what you would call it, a cork. Um, the other major difference would be that they took this element from the artsy, which I do love. I love this because it's a great way, you know, to put your keys on here and then throw them in your bag and kind of use them as a, you know, as a keychain. Or I love it just as a decorative piece to the outside of the bag. And the old model did not have this. Uh, what else is a major difference? And then the insides. Okay. So the new model has this hot pink color. It has hot pink with some purple stripes. Uh, there's also a rose ballerine for the, uh, Azure. And then there is then just the basic beige. It has a, um, Damia Ebeen in the delightful. It has with the red. Um, and it also, of course, has the monogram. And there was a pivone. And I actually did have that one as well, but I sold it uh, because I was able to find this beauty. Also, another major feature that's different from the old delightful and the new is the top here. And that is one feature I do miss on the on this delightful is the old delightful had Louis Vuitton all across the top, but this one just has it. Uh, in small letters on the top. Um, the top of the bag is just like the Neverfull in that you can close it with, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but you could just close it like that and then it's open. I don't have any problems as far as security, even when it's in my car, like if it falls forward because, you know, everything is at the bottom and there's a lot of, it's um, bottom heavy. It doesn't really give me any problems as far as things flying out. So anyways, this is a beautiful bag. My favorite part of this bag is this pocket. It is huge. It is so deep. So let me show you what I have in there and then I'll show you how deep it is. So I have my headphones because I use them a lot. Anything that I grab really, you know, and use a lot, I put in this pocket. You can see this beautiful pocket here and it has the D ring right there. Love this pocket. I have my sunnies in there, which are from Key Australia. The pouch is from Key. And then inside, these are my favorite. They are the black fades. Love these. This is my second pair because my baby got a hold of my first pair and broke them. So I keep them in here. I also have the Palm Springs Mini, um, and I'll show you that bag in another video. And I love putting these in the Palm Springs Mini because they're squishy, so it's more malleable as far as being put inside the bag. So I also carry in here 
uh, my six ring key holder in the Rose Ballerine. I don't know why everybody shows it, but I'll just go ahead and do that. So that's in there. And then, oh, I don't have it in there right now, but typically that's where I would also keep my phone. And I love this. I found it on AliExpress. Um, and I thought it was just really kind of fun. It's got the Louis Vuitton, you know, somewhat background and then my initials. And so I just thought that was hilarious. It's a pop socket and then just a regular case. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. And so just to show you how um, big that back pocket is, it's my one of my favorite features of this bag. So here is a notebook. I'm in my office right now. And so this is a notebook I use for my lectures. And just to show you, right, it's, you know, a regular personal size uh, notebook. I can fit this in this back pocket all the way down. Look at that. And zip it up. And it's gone. Look at that. So I just love how big this pocket is, that it's as long as... Uh, this notebook is. And another thing, just to give you reference, here's my sunnies again. If I put my sunnies in there, okay, there's, look, they're here and there's still a good amount of space at the top of that pocket. Love that pocket. And it's really nice and roomy. Okay, so here on the D-ring, that's another thing, feature I love about this bag is the D-ring. And I was actually thinking about selling this bag, but I'm the more, every time I, because I don't use it that often, that's why it's got such white vachetta, um, because I, I've used it a handful of times. That's why you haven't seen it on my channel. Uh, but here I keep my one of my favorite pieces that I've, I've ever had, which is my, uh, uh, what do they call this? The clay. Okay. Um, and this is awesome because you can fit cards in here. I put medicines that I have that are flat um, that need to go in here. Um, I use this as a catch-all. I'll put, you know, um, bobby pins and uh, hair, hair ties and stuff in here. It can be used for a variety of things. You can also put your keys on it and throw your keys in here so that you don't get your um, back part of your... Um, uh, back part of your keys to scratch up the inside of your bag. So what else do I have in here? Well, I always have, as you well know, if you watch my channel, I always have a planner. This is my favorite planner that I found that works for me. It's the Passion Planner. I even have a video on it. Um, and I keep my pins inside of there so that I, you know, make sure, of course, that they're closed and they stay in there nice and tight because I have this on because I don't want pins floating around in my bag. And then I have this from my um, Neverfull, and I love this. A lot of people sell these, but I think they can be very, very useful as a clutch. I'm sure you've seen people say that before. And in here, I just put kind of, um, I don't, again, like I don't want pins floating around. So I have a pin in there. I always make sure it's covered and I put it at the very top. So I'm very particular about I have things in here. I have some baby, uh, excuse me, some boogie wipe samples. Um, my grandfather passed away recently. And so I have some prayer cards that I always keep with me from his uh, funeral. Um, I have receipt. Uh, what is this? I don't even know what this is. More receipts. Oh, this is something for my community pool for our, um, our community pool that we have in our subdivision. And then I love to take these with me everywhere because I use them on my planner. So I keep those things in here. And this is the best place for me as far as receipts, you know, or when I want to just not take in my big bag, but just take this in, I can put my six ring key holder, I can put my cards, just my um, debit card here in the side pocket, take it into the store and I'm good. So that's in there. Oh, this, I'm at work today. So this is what I use for my cord for my MacBook Pro. And then 
I bought this on Amazon and it's one of the best things I've bought. Then I use this to put my laptop in. So it's for my cord and my laptop and they're nice and puffy and it's just perfect because I don't want my cord just floating around in my bag. I have my mini pochette and in my mini pochette, it's my junk drawer. And I also carry this in my Palm Springs mini backpack. I have a hand sanitizer. I love these hand sanitizers from Bath and Body. I have a Dior Lippy. Oh, what number is this? I can't see the number. Oh, 643. So this is Dior 643, and I love this color. Then I have, uh, this is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is a gorgeous um, nude color, and even though I am a dark medium brown, this still looks great on me. This is also one of my favorite things that I've purchased. You put this on the end of your phone and it's a fan. And I love this because I am always hot. And so like yesterday, I took the kids to um, Alt Altitude, which is a bouncy place. And I, I was really hot in there. So I put this on the end and it helped me to cool down. So I always have this with me. My little pill case, my Marie Antoinette. If you've been watching my videos, you know I always have this. This is also one of my favorites. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the color um, Ashton. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's Ashton, and it is gorgeous. It is. What I love about this is you put it on, and um, it applies that really nicely, and then it stays. It's a matte finish. Um, so it's, you know, once you put it on, you don't have to worry about it coming off unless you want to take it off. I guess is the best way to say that. I have a Purell. I have some coupons for boogie wipes. I love boogie wipes. If you're a mom, you know that these can be used not just to clean boogies, but if you need a hand wipe, if you need to clean something, they're also good. So I have a few other like for um, can do. These are a uh, wipe that you can take with you as well. So I have some coupons for that. I have some Visine for contacts. I have another Dior. I think this is the same one. Yeah, this is 643 also. I love that color. Ooh, this is great. This is Marc Jacobs. It's a sample. It's called Pretty Thing. Um, and it's really a beautiful um, kind of nudish color. And it's just, let me see if I can swatch it. You'll barely be able to see it. Um, but it comes off so beautifully on the lip. So this is Marc Jacobs. Again, it's called Pretty Thing. Gorgeous. That and the Velvet Teddy are one of my favorites. Uh, and the Dior, obviously, because I have two of them. So I have one of these extra thingamabobbies for my 7 Plus. I don't know what, oh, this is a, I don't know where this came from, a prep swab alcohol prep swab so that's all in this mini pochette okay can't leave without my fan i love that fan if you find one i would totally buy one because that is the greatest purchase okay so there's that and I have this other pochette, which is a bucket bag. And if you've been following me, I've had this for a while. Again, I love it because I found it. I bought it through a Japanese eBay seller. Um, it's called Apple Project. I bought several pre-loved items, Louis Vuitton items from them. They are great. They are wonderful. You know that their stuff is legit. Japan has very strict rules. Plus, I've always had them authenticated. So I know when I spend a lot, I know that they are the great place to buy from. It's called Apple Project. And I just have some bits and bobs in here. Again, one of my favorite things that I have as a mom. I mean, you don't have to be a mom, but this has just come in handy so many times. So it's a fold up um, cup. And I've used this especially for my little one, my two-year-old. It comes in handy. And so I love that. And it just folds up nicely. And I got this, uh, I think my mom got this at the tar uh, Target dollar spot. I love this Bath and Body uh, lotion. Uh, this hand cream, mm, it's just, I don't know. It's a Shea hand cream, watermelon spritzer. I'm not crazy about the scent, but I do like the cream itself. 
I have, um, since I always have to be with my phone, I have a cord. I have one of these, I was saying I have coupons for, it's Can Do, and it's a flush, flushable cleansing wipe. This is for my kids, and obviously in case I ever forget wipes, it's good to have one of these. I have some, couple of, um, what do you call them, uh, perfume samples, because you never know. This is the clicker for what I forgot today to bring to the office, which is, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, the stand for my phone. I have a plug. Oh, there it is. I've been looking for this. I have an eyeliner and I have a lollipop. It's always good to have kind of a, you know, something to maybe bribe your kids with. Again, I love this because it's, again, it's like a junk drawer, so it doesn't need to be in great shape. The zipper is a little wonky, so I don't mind stretching it out and putting things in it. Um, and I just, I love the canvas of this vintage uh, monogram is unbelievable. They don't make um, monogram pieces like that anymore. The canvas today for Louis Vuitton is, is not nearly as good as it was you know, in the early 2000s and back into the 80s. That was much better quality back then. Okay, so I have that. I have my wallet, which is the uh, Rose Ballerine, the Victorine. It has three um, places for your cards on each side. It has this one. On the side. You can see I have it packed full of cards here on the side. I'm missing some credit cards that I gave to my daughter, which I need to get back. And then it has a place for your cash. This is not the greatest place for your coins. I do have some coins in here, a little bit of coins, but it's kind of tight, um, but it, it does the job. You know, I don't usually carry a lot of coins, so that's a good place for your coins. Uh, I have some empty gum. Good, I need to get some more gum. I like these. I got these from Five Below, and there's this one, which is the, the bear. Where's the other one? And then this one is the little penguin, and they're lip glosses. And they're just, they're really actually pretty good. I think they were like two for four dollars, so they were two dollars each, and I just think they're um, oh, she's got her outfit on wrong. Let me fix her outfit here. So the penguins got this cute little and this bear and they're just cute to have. And they actually are pretty nice on the lip. Always have to have some tissues. I have this from an Amazon product I have. I have my uh, James Avery. This is one of my most prized possessions that if I ever lost this, I would be devastated. This is kind of the story of my life. I got this when I graduated from high school. It was my graduation present from my mother. And I've had it for, you know, over 20 years. And each one of these charms tells a story. This one was my latest one. My daughter got it for me for Mother's Day. She plays volleyball, my oldest. And I love volleyball. It's my favorite sport. Um, that's one example. This is from the birth of my baby, my two-year-old, Aria. It's got little baby shoes at the top. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It has little baby shoes at the top and then the pink because she's a girl. Um, and so just little things that tell the story of my life. Here's a clarinet because I played clarinet in high school marching band and in middle school and I still play it every once in a while. And this one says San Antonio because that's where I'm born. This is the state of Texas in San Antonio. So I love this. This is, uh, again, one of my prized possessions. I have, you've seen this before if you've watched my channel, I have my um, business cards in here. And it's also great because I don't want to blind you, but it has a mirror here on this side. And also the back part can serve as a mirror. So I love having that. This is, if you've also seen my channel, I've had it for a long time. It's they used on these authentic uh, Louis Vuitton canvas, repurposed it. And so this is a little um, lippy holder and it has a mirror at the top. And then I have a little sample Marc Jacobs. This is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I've actually had many of these. I bought, I buy them um, off of, uh, what is the name of that website? Um, 
people who sell them for, you know, maybe $5. And I love it so much that I keep rebuying them because they fit perfectly in this um, little lippy holder. Let's see. And that is it. That is all that's in the bag. But I do, again, want to show you this beautiful color because it's just stunning. This pink is unbelievably amazing. And then I have this beautiful pink charm. And I think it just pops perfectly off of the azure right um and so i love it i love this bag um and if you can find one of these again i'm just you know i'm sure there there's a lot of different bags that louis has um is no longer making um that we wish they still made so if there is a bag that has been retired and that louis no longer makes that you wish they did Put it in the comments down below. I'm curious. This is definitely one of them, the delightful. Um, I wish they continued to make it. So please, I really appreciate um, all of my subbies. And I would appreciate a thumbs up um, to let me know I'm doing a good job. And um, please, please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. Bye.